Hey, what's up, you guys? So, I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded, but a lot has been going on with quarantine. Um, I moved, I actually just bought my first home, so I'm home right now. And I've just been dealing with a lot of life stuff. And my last racist update was back in early September. I believe it was, I posted it on September 4th. And then I had an orthodontist appointment at the end of September on September 30th. On that orthodontist appointment, um, I actually got power chains, you guys. Yes, I got power chains. And I was also instructed to wear rubber bands now. So that's what are the two major things that have changed um and i'm gonna get into the power chains and how they made me feel in a minute but one more thing that did happen on that appointment is that my orthodontist actually shaved or i get i'm not please forgive me if i butcher terms because i really don't know all of the dentistry orthodontic terms that people use but he shaved my teeth i guess or contoured my teeth i don't know but the just my two front teeth he contoured them and made them look a little better why he did that i don't know typically when i go to the orthodontist they just do things they don't ever tell me why but i mean i'm happy that he did it um but i wish they would tell me why because i often am curious about why they do certain things that they do but luckily i have watched um, a few different um, braces journey videos so I am aware of like little things here and there so yes so the three main things on my September 30th appointment was my teeth were shaved I do have power chains and I am wearing rubber bands now so I have to wear two rubber bands now and I have to wear them um, on the left and the right side and that was to fix my um, overbite so um since my september 30th appointment i had another appointment in november i believe at the like november 24th and at my november 24th appointment um i had a different orthodontist that was different from my um typical orthodontist because there are two males that um, own the practice but typically I only see the same one every time but I did see a newer guy this time and I was explaining to him that my um my mint lines were not as nice as they were prior to me wearing rubber bands and he instructed me to wear two double up on the rubber bands on my right hand side and so I tried that and honestly it was just way too painful um throughout my entire pre uh, braces journey the most pain i ever experienced was during my first week of having braces after that it's been pretty much a breeze i might have a little bit of pain here and there during tightening but nothing serious or maybe i won't have any pain at all but during this one after i got those um power chains on and i had to rubber wear rubber bands it was a very painful experience um not as bad as the first time, but pretty close. I was still able to eat foods. It was painful, but at least I was able to chew a little bit more comfortably than I did when I first got my braces. So there's that. But yes, it was very painful. Definitely had an attitude because <laughs> I couldn't eat with joy. <laughs> so on my November... 30th appointment um that's when i was instructed to double up on the rubber bands and like i said that was really painful it felt because i don't have or that i'm because i'm missing a tooth at the bottom here the, the rubber band is going on the last tooth that has a bracket on it and that tooth doesn't have another tooth next to it and so when i doubled up on the rubber band it hurt so bad it felt like it was trying to rip that tooth out of my mouth and so i had another orthodontist appointment which was my most recent appointment on um, january 6th and i told my regular orthodontist the one that i see all the time i told him about it and i told him that it was causing me pain so we have a new plan now and i'm going to insert pictures of everything from um how the midlines were before I had the 
rubber bands and the power chains and then I'm going to show what my midlines look like after them and they're still not back in place so yeah so on my January 6th appointment um, I was instructed to wear a different type of rubber bands and I have to wear them a different way than how I wore my previous rubber bands so at night I have to wear my crocodile um and so at night I have to wear my crocodile rubber bands for 8 to 12 hours and then during the day I wear my regular parrot rubber bands um, and switch them out um, every time I eat. So yes I know my teeth are yellow as hell. Um, hopefully I can get them whitened after I get my braces taken off but yeah please don't cover me in the comments. So for the crocodile rubber band. So these are my crocodile rubber bands. So how I wear those is I put them on this racket. And I have to wear them like this for eight to 12 hours. So basically at nighttime while I'm sleeping and it's gonna help my midlines go back to normal. So you guys see how my teeth at the bottom are not aligned with the teeth at the top. When I first got my braces, I was told that I have to wear them for 18 months, and that's still very much true. So I have three more months left with my treatment. Um, my, my second to last appointment is when I get them taken off. So I get them taken off, um, I want to say in February, right? Let me, let me look. I get my braces taken off March 24th. And a week after that is when I get my retainers. Keep in mind that we did start a pandemic last year. So I did miss one appointment or I was not scheduled a one appointment due to the pandemic. So it'll be 19 months instead of 18. So hopefully things will go well and I will get them off when I'm scheduled to get them off. Um, I'm on, My only concern right now is that I, I feel like every time they did something different to my teeth, my teeth they move like that like super duper fast but now I feel like the bottom like my midlines are taking a bit of time to move back but I get my braces off in March so I mean I have plenty enough time for them to shift back but I feel like my teeth move super duper fast before but now it's like now that I'm cutting close to getting my braces taken off now my lip my, my teeth is tripping they want to move at their own pace they don't want to move fast no more but you know, it is what it is. Maybe it's because I have to wear a stronger band at night and a less stronger band during the day. So we shall see. So I'm going to try. If y'all want to see me vlog my next orthodontist appointment, y'all can comment down below. Y'all know I'm a chicken. I'm still new to this YouTube thing. Y'all see, I'm, I'm so inconsistent. I'm trying to do better with that. But if somebody comment down below that they want me to vlog my next appointment, then I will vlog it. If someone comment down below, girl, stop being the chicken and go ahead and vlog for us, then I will do it, okay? So, yeah, that's it for this um, braces update. Hopefully, um, next braces update, I'll have them off. Well, who knows? Or maybe, I'll, look, it's, your girl been going through it a lot. Like I said, I just bought a house. I'm, I'm finally settled into that. And, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.